Yes, that cool cat in the cardigan, shimmying to yakety sax, is a 22-year-old Alex Trebek in 1963, decades before Jeopardy. Hey, if we've got a terrific 30 minutes lined up for you today. Kicking off his TV hosting career in Toronto with the Canadian Broadcasting Company. So let's have a real big welcome for Duncan White. CBC was wanting to reach out to this burgeoning youth culture and the era of Beatlemania. He was just 22, barely older than the high school students dancing on the show. For Trebek, just making it this far in TV was already a remarkable achievement. A climb out of hard times for a child born into a bilingual family during the summer of 1940 in the nickel mining town of Sudbury, Ontario, where his father George worked as a chef at a nearby hotel. He spoke mostly English at home, but he would play hockey in French in the street. So he speaks excellent French. George Alexander Trebek, known as Alex, would head off to a Catholic boarding school in Ottawa, but was almost expelled. They almost threw me out after the first year because I was an unruly kid. My parents had just separated, and I was rebellious. I was angry. I was a little lost. That summer, my father and I came back here to Ottawa, and on bended knee, really, begged to be allowed to come back. And one of the priests said, I'll take a chance on Quebec. And that turned my life around. The University of Ottawa, for, for all sorts of reasons, it was a defining moment in his life. At the University of Ottawa, Alex would consider careers in medicine and politics before getting a summer job at the CBC to help pay his tuition. And then in February, they came to me and said, we have an opening on our permanent staff. We have two openings, as a matter of fact. Would you like one of them? But as soon as I graduated, then they sent me to do television. A CBC staff right here in Toronto, Alec Trebek, just returned from British Empire and Commonwealth Games. We finished third, as we always do, behind Australia and England. For more than a decade, Trebek would be a staff announcer at the CBC, where his many assignments ran the gamut of 1960s live television. Good evening, and welcome to our show. Why are you staring? You were perhaps expecting the late movie or maybe even Gunsmoke? It was early days in television history. TV was only nine years old in Canada when he started, so uh, it was the era of generalization at CBC, and he had the opportunity to learn and grow and play different roles. I enjoyed doing everything. As a staff announcer, you did a little bit of everything. You, you read the news, you did sports, you did weather, you did the stockyard report. Canners and cutters at 22.50 a pound. And he would host the occasional sports broadcast. He hosted curling, which is a Canadian institution. He hosted horse racing. Merci beaucoup, bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs, et bienvenue à ce match Reach for the Top. Because I was bilingual, I got to host some shows that would wind up on both networks, the English network and the French network ballets and symphonies and things like that. He was able to do so many different kinds of hosting. He always seemed poised and in control of every assignment he had. But Music Hop was a breakthrough. Thank you, fellas. Hi there, and welcome back to the show with the Hitbound Sound, Music Hop. It's a really interesting moment to see him come on stage in a context we're not really used to seeing him in. Hey, I understand you just got back from a real swinging trip down the West Indies. You want to tell us about it? The show did really well. So his first big TV hosting gig was a hit show. And its success would bring Trebek his first game show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome again to Reach for the Top. Reach for the Top was definitely the show that launched Alex Trebek's career to another level in Canada. What is meant by Adam's Ale? <coughs> Lynn Hewer, Lee Side. Water. Water is right for 10 points. High school academic quiz show where two teams from two different high schools face off against each other. And that became a hit show. The winner of the game is Monarch Park, 370 points. All kinds of smart, Overachievers appeared on the show, including a woman named Kim Campbell, who went on to become Canada's first female prime minister. 
series of who am I and what am I questions for you right now. Questions dealing with science, arts, history, politics, sports. That is absolutely right for 10 points. So really kind of a range of questions that bears a striking resemblance to Jeopardy. I've been very lucky. Luck is a very important element in the success of many, many people, although they don't realize it. We'll be joined by a man who's known nationally as a radio and television personality and is also one of Canada's most attractive and eligible bachelors, Alex Trebek. By 1970, his career in Canada would be established. But the biggest TV market in the world was a little further south. When we come back, a phone call from a CBC pal with a shot at a job that would change his life. And now here's the wily wizard himself, Alex Trebek. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.